Good morning, my name is Sasha Martin. I'm an author and poet living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I wanna share with you my creative practice in the morning. Many people like to journal or they like to do morning pages, they're called, where they'll just let the free flow of their unconscious come out on the page, kind of hoping to capture a looser creativity in their writing before they fully wake up. I've always had a hard time though with journals and morning pages because I, I don't know, I always felt a little self-conscious describing my day. I always felt a little indulgent. Um, and so what you'll find upstairs is um, a little box full of a half a dozen to a dozen journals that I started as a teenager, got about 10 pages in and gave up. And I felt somehow that I was supposed to journal, that I was supposed to do this thing because I loved writing. And um, it never worked out. I never finished a single one. So what do you do if you're a writer and you don't want to journal? Well, there's other options. And actually, for the first time in my life as a grown woman, I found a practice that really works for me pretty recently, actually. Gilcrease Museum commissioned me to do some poetry in response to the Dorothea Lang exhibit, looking at the Dust Bowl and the Oklahoma experience. And one of the things I decided to do as part of that project was to create a blackout poetry series by using John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath. So what I mean is rather than do just one blackout poem, fill an entire book with blackout poetry. Now let me define blackout poetry if you haven't heard that term. It's where you choose a text, a page of a text usually, and you circle words devoid of the meaning of the original text in many cases, right? You're just choosing words that you like and you're putting together your own sentences, your own poems, your own thought patterns from somebody else's words. And what's really interesting about this approach is really you are kind of working outside of your normal patterns because you, their speech patterns, the words they use are likely almost certainly not the words and the speech patterns that you would use. So it forces you to think of new combinations and kind of get out of some of your writing ruts. Um, so anyway, I did one of these poems and then I thought, well, what if I did the whole novel this way? And of course, this takes a long time. Each poem might take, you know, my morning coffee, each page. So this is a long-term project and it feels, I will tell you, a little bit like working on a crossword puzzle because you're sitting there facing a page, trying to figure out what words go together in a playful way, in a way that please you. Um, some of the ones I chose go together in a in a sensical way. They sound good, they sound like a real poem, and then some of them start to become more playful. It's words that sound interesting together, but maybe there's no meaning. I like to just um, sort of lightly color in the background so that the words pop out, but you can still read the whole novel if you want to. I'm working through chapter by chapter, page by page, um, over lots of cups of coffee. And what I find, especially now when um, I'm in a particular position of not feeling inspired to write long form, is that this is just manageable enough and it's just playful enough to keep me going. And at the end, I will have an entire novel of poems inspired by John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath. And I think that's really fun. Um, you know, behind me, I have a whole hodgepodge of books, right? Because I have a 10 year old, I have, um, you know, there's three of us in this household. So we all have different reading interests, um, different age levels. We want um, to expose our daughter to a variety of books. So everything's mashed together. And I could see this being a wonderful project to do with a book of fairy tales or with a book of poems, or maybe even with a recipe book, why not? We have books that we love that sit on our shelves that need some sort of, I don't know, life back in them again, right? So what would it be like if you chose one of those books? I know for me, working with a book of the quality of The Grapes of Wrath was just pure fun.
I want to read to you a few of the poems that I've done so you can see for yourself what, what I'm talking about, how it might work. In the beginning, the poem sounded a lot more sensical. The last scattered colonies dissipated. The bayonet did not protect the young. Strength frayed their roots. Huddled night, black night, quiet fog, deep rushing fog, drying the men and the women, secretly dust. And you'll see that if an author is talking a lot about dust, you'll learn new ways of writing about that same topic. And it can be a challenge, but it can also be interesting. And skipping ahead, for a moment, his eyes cut space between the new, all stiff and cheap. The man loosened his exhaust in puffs of lovingly fingered tobacco. Highway of clover, Every seed twisting little animals of sun, plodding on tender feet through rolled ground. Wild seeds entered dust and opened yellow. Dance, my savior, now, now, into before man song. Cover the fallen with absolute home. So thank you for spending a little time. Enjoy your creativity, be playful, and good luck.